I'll show you guys my hair care routine and we're gonna come back to the OG coffee. I just like realize the importance of having your own experiences. Good morning guys, what is up? I literally just woke up, brushed my teeth, um, and we're just about to go on a walk, but I just wanted to start the vlog here because I did not realize that it was literally the middle of July. Like I am shocked right now. Like when I looked at the my phone this morning and I saw that it was the middle of July, I literally had a heart attack. I just can't believe it right now that it's the middle of July and I didn't realize it. It just kind of makes me so sad that like we only get two months of really nice weather here and it's just going by so fast. Oh, even though I'm trying to really like cherish every day, every moment, still like you can't stop time. So let me know if the summer is going by fast for you guys, if it's summer where you are. I literally can't believe that it's already the middle of July. Anyways, today we're just going to go on the walk and then I just got to get some work done like usual. I'm going to be filming today, so I'll bring you guys along with what I do, but okay, we're going to go on our walk. So I've recently been using like a little bit of a different moisturizer. This one is oil free and I got it purposely because when you have eyelash extensions, you can't really like put oily shit around your eyes. So I purposely got this Avino one that's oil free and it has SPF 30. So I've just been putting this on like every single morning because sometimes like I love my Australian gold ones. Like this one's literally almost finished. Like I, these are like my all time favorite and they're 50 SPF. But sometimes in the morning, I just don't want to put like a tinted sunscreen on my face. I just don't need that really in the morning first thing. So what I like to do usually is I'll like put this one on. I don't really know even if this one's that good. I didn't do any research into it. So I just kind of saw it at the store and bought it. But Probably should have done research, but it's just 30 SPF. The weather's actually supposed to be a little gloomy today, tomorrow, and the next day. So I'm kind of a little bummed about that, but it's okay. I mean, we've been getting beautiful weather, so I can't complain, but... Good morning, Hershey. Okay, so I just put some bread in the toaster. I'm just gonna have it with peanut butter for breakfast. And I'm going back to my OG coffee today that I haven't had in literally forever. This is my latte that I put like my milk and my espresso shot. So I'm gonna have that instead of a cold brew because I've like, been literally having a cold brew every single day, but we ran out. So we're gonna go back to the OG coffee, which I'm actually excited for because I like to switch things up. Hey, what's up guys? So it is currently about 3.30 and I just got some work done and me and Joel are gonna go play tennis right now because the courts usually fill up like after five because that's when people finish work. So I was like, why don't we just go play now? And then later, like I'll just work a little later today because if we go any later, the courts are definitely gonna be full because it's like a really popular one, like right by my house. It's always so full. So we're gonna go now. This is my cute little tennis fit. I had to change it to some athletic wear. Just gonna put a hat on because it's sunny outside and I'm gonna pop my sunglasses on as well. And yeah, we haven't played in a while. So so we're definitely gonna be super rusty, but I love tennis. It's so fun and a really good way to work out. You guys, my car is literally so dirty from the road trip that we went on. Like I didn't expect my car to get this dirty, but it is dirty. It needs a big wash. Like there's shit everywhere. There's bugs on the freaking thing. Like I didn't, I didn't know that your car can get so dirty from driving that far on the highway, but I guess it makes sense because there's bugs flying. Like I literally heard bug, bug splatter on my windshield. I've honestly been really into hats lately. Like I used to never wear them, but like, I don't know why they've just been popping off recently and they're really cute. And I've been sleeping on hats. A little hot, but it's not bad. So we're good. Oh, we're matchy matchy. Okay, don't judge us. Okay, we haven't played in a long time and this is our first time in a while, so we're gonna be a little rusty. Finna jump for this shit, all top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they caught up in the rapture. 
I'm so out of line with the phrase gang. Let's take a break, been a long day. Hit your line with your fall through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Say, live it for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let him hit the fear of a passive aggressive. Angry black man with a passion. Steady grip when I shoot to the stars with the full clip. Try and line with the loose sleeve. Then I proofread till I lose sleep. Couldn't handle the truth. Your bed with the right. Love it first sight shit. Art over hype shit. Need a sound bite for the time capsule. Press play. They pause time for a bit. Okay, so we just got back. We spent about like an hour there. And I was just thinking like, what the hell do I do for dinner? Because we have been eating so unhealthy. Like it's not even funny. Just like coming back from our vacation. We just ate. Literally, we lived off of popcorn and alcohol. We need to get back on our health kick. So I'm thinking of maybe heading to the grocery store and getting some ingredients so I can make my coconut cream mushroom soup tonight because it's like one of my favorite soups that I discovered. So I think we're gonna go in, shower because we're disgusting sweaty messes and then make some soup potentially. I'm glad that we got that good workout in. It feels good. But off the unhealthy shit. Okay, on the big camera again. We are currently heading out to the grocery store. I have a whole list of shit that we need to get. Yeah, I'm gonna make the mushroom soup just because we need some dinner and also when you make soup, it lasts you for a couple of days because there's just so much of it. So I'm gonna make a big vat and hopefully it'll last us for tomorrow's dinner or lunch or whatever. It's always nice to have like leftovers. Okay, let's go. Okay, we just got to the grocery store. We need chicken broth, vegetable broth, beef broth, mushrooms, coconut milk, fancy feast for my cat, oat milk creamer, cold brew, ham, and then these tiny shrimp things. Hopefully we can be in and out in 15 minutes because I'm starving, so I really want to make dinner. Maybe we should get like bread or something to eat with it. Is there no bread? Well, there's not really any fresh sourdough, no. Okay, then we'll get some. So I have to get eight cups of mushrooms and last time we way overestimated it and got like a bin too much. So I think that this should be fine. I mean, kind of looks about eight cups, but I'm not really sure. So hopefully it's, if we have like too much, it's fine, but we just don't want too little. So it looks pretty good. I think so, hopefully. So it's currently the morning and I'm just about to hop in the shower to wash this nasty ass hair. I know I've explained this before, but I'm just gonna re-explain it. I only wash my hair once a week because my hair is just so hard to deal with. You guys have been so nice and I got like a few comments being like, oh, your hair is so nice. Thank you, I really appreciate that, but it's very untamable and unmanageable. I wash it once a week on purpose because every time I wash it, I like to straighten it or something just so that it can last throughout the week. And to straighten my hair takes me just like over an hour to do so i'll show you guys my hair care routine in this vlog because it was highly requested i've shown it before i mean it's really nothing special to be honest like it's really nothing special but and also to make like my hair last throughout the week i use this dry shampoo this is the batiste one this is just the original i like the white one the best i tried the brown one and i liked it at first and then I realized that when I sprayed it, it kind of got on like my clothing and stained my hands and like it just kind of got everywhere because it was brown so it like stained. You guys are literally in my shower right now. Welcome in my shower. Okay, so this is what I use. I use these products. I just recently purchased these. This is the Miracle Boost Moisture Pro-V Pantene Nutri Blend. And these are the ones with like out sulfates and everything because other Pantene products, I don't think they're very good for your hair, but these ones, this line is good. And these are rose water and they just smell so good so that's what i've been using for shampoo and just prior to buying those i was just using the yellow ones of that line and the only difference is these are with castor oil and that one is a moisture boost this one also smells literally amazing and i can't find my wide tooth comb right now but what i do usually i'll like condition my hair like i condition it from like here down and then i'll take a wide tooth comb and just like brush my hair in the shower with it so that is just easier for when i get out it's just like already detangled i do with the conditioners in my hair so it's like easier to brush through oh and i also realized that i've been using this one too this is the monday moisture hydration and this has rice water in it so i've just been using this like on occasion because apparently it's not good to use like the same shampoo over and over again or your hair is going to get used to it and it's not going to like have as many benefits and yeah that's all that i do for my hair in the shower and then when i get out and put my treatment on i'll show you guys what that is okay so i literally just got out of the shower i take a white tooth comb and i would have used this in the shower but but I just found it now, so we're just gonna have to brush it out now. You don't wanna use a regular brush on your hair when it's wet, because when your hair is wet, it's really fragile. Okay, so now after my hair is brushed, I'll take the Olaplex Bond Smoother, and then I'll just apply some of this. I honestly use a lot because my hair 
is really thick. Olaplex has helped so much with my the frizziness of my hair. And then I'll just go back in with the brush to spread product out a little bit better. Yeah, and that's literally all that I do for right after the shower because I just love this Olaplex treatment and it's just the best. So that's what I do for now. Throughout the week, if my ends get dry, I'll just put this on them, just like a regular drugstore Moroccan oil, and that's it. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come on here and do a bit of a moments with Michaela little episode segment. And I just wanted to talk about, because this was just on my mind, and usually when I do these things, I just talk about things that are on my mind. I don't really pull it out of my asshole. I just have a lot of thoughts and theories and things that go on my head so expressing it to you guys into the camera is like really kind of therapeutic for me because not everyone will truly understand what i mean if that makes sense and so it's just like so freeing to just talk about it it's kind of like a diary but video form like dead ass is kind of like a diary anyways so i was just thinking and i notice the importance of not always taking someone's word and what i mean by that is let's say there's this girl named sally there's this random girl named sally that you've never met before and your friend george <laughs> what are these names comes up to you and he's like yo sally is so mean i hate her you should never talk to her da 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 and just talk shit about her okay right away it's gonna put that idea in your head that sally is a bad person and all this stuff but you've never met sally for yourself you've never had an experience with sally so it's almost kind of unfair of you to think something negative about sally because you've never even met her she's never even made an impression on you therefore everybody has different experiences with everything and everyone so you can't necessarily take someone's word or experience and take it on like it's your own because i just like realize the importance of having your own experiences and how that's so much more valid than taking other people's experiences and labeling them as they're your own and this happens obviously in high school a lot where there's like rumors and drama that goes around and that's probably because people are taking everyone is taking george's word and then everyone hates sally for no reason even though they've never had an experience with sally and that's just so unfair and um yeah i guess what my point that i want to just say is don't believe everything you here because like i said every you can have a different a completely different experience with somebody than george did and it's kind of funny because to truly know something you kind of have to erase your mind and have a blank mind going into it to truly get to form your own opinions and get to know things because there's so many instances where we hear things online on social media and it's like not from our experience do we know those things but it's from other people and words can get twisted words can get changed but they can come across off as oh this is the right thing this is it like this is true but maybe it's not true like that's just their experience with whatever they were experiencing with them and that's that at the end of the day you might have a completely the completely opposite experience with that and maybe one day you will have the same experience that lines up but that's not going to be the case all the time yeah i've just like realized the importance um of just forming your own opinion and these days like within society i feel like we're all so kind of look like robotic like where everyone has to think one way and if you don't think that way then you're outcasted and it's kind of weird to me because everybody has everyone is unique everyone is on a different path everyone has such unique different lives that it's impossible for all of us to have the same opinion and the only way that we can have the same opinion or the same beliefs is if we're just going along with what everybody else says and not truly forming our own experiences and beliefs about something or someone so yeah if your friend george comes up to you and tells you that sally's a bitch and he hates sally that should make you hate sally as well you should go have your experience with sally and then make a decision from your experience with sally not from george's experience <laughs> of sally if you know what i mean okay that was a really weird way of explaining it but you guys know what i mean that can go for anything not just people you know what i mean so just anything you hear any day about anything you can apply that to and as i'm on my journey in life i've just realized that like in the past i've just gone along with so many things and made assumptions about people that i shouldn't have made that were just because of other people's opinions and their experience when i never got to make my own so yeah that's my little advice session for you guys form your own opinions you're allowed to have your own beliefs and everyone has their own experiences and opinions are going to vary based on that so you may love sally 
Even though George hates Sally, you might love Sally. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out. Ghost cop. Been a long day, hit your line, but you fall through with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go, it's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields, saying, vivid for the ears, I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let them hear the fear of a passive progressive. Angry black man with a passion. Steady grip while I shoot to the stars with the full clip. Chatting line with the loose sleeve.